Hello, Adventure Explorers, and welcome to Compassion Camp. We are so excited to see you this evening and glad that you are joining us at the table for Compassion Camp. I'm Pastor Meredith here at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and at Compassion Camp, of course, we have Laud the Lamb and Laud's helper Cohen. We have Ms. Laurie, our Camp Activities Director. We have Ms. Becca, our Camp Music Director. We have Joy, our Camp Counselor, and we're so excited to have this time with you to worship and play and sing and pray together at Compassion Camp. Today, this week, our theme is at the table, learning about compassion at the table. When we're uh, learning about compassion, uh, compassion helps us to see and to welcome one another. And what better place to do that than at a table together? So pull up at your table, Get ready, Adventure Explorers, while we get going here with our Compassion Camp at the table. Whew. Oh my goodness. We have been out for a walk and it was kind of hot out there at Compassion Camp, but now oh, I get to sit down for a few minutes and have a little bit of shade, which is awesome. Ooh, excuse me for yawning. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody's yawning. Why are you yawning? Are you tired from taking a hike too? Are you are not as tired? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yawning. oh, I've heard about this before. People yawn when they see other people yawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Did you know that? Oh my goodness, I think it's true. According to scientists, even dogs and chimpanzees do it too. When they see somebody yawn, then they start yawning. Oh my gosh. Well, here, while we're all sitting here together at our uh, camp table, let's do that experiment. I'm gonna yawn, you try not to yawn. Okay, okay, you try not to yawn. <laughs> I don't think you can resist. I start yawning, you start yawning. You know, when you see somebody yawn or laugh or cry, something in your brain responds because you know what it is like to feel laughter or sadness or sleepiness. Oh. That is called empathy. And when we know what it is like to feel something, we become more compassionate toward one another. When we know what it's like to feel like somebody else, we feel compassion for them. For example, if I see you step on a Lego at your house, mm. I feel compassion for you because I know it hurts. My foot can't feel it in that moment, but my empathy kicks in. Whew, my brain reminds me what it's like to step on that little piece of Lego. And if my compassion is strong, I might even offer to help you. You know, that's what compassion is. I see your hurt, I feel your hurt with you, empathy, and then I help you try to ease that hurt. But in order to feel that kind of empathy, I need to see you. And that is the beginning of compassion. When we gather around a table, even a virtual table, and we look into each other's eyes, or we hear each other's voices, we begin to understand how it is that we are feeling. And that's why it's so important that we welcome others to our table. So we're going to learn all about that today and in all of our activities this week. And our first song that we're going to sing is a welcome song for the table. So let's get ready to sing. Hi, Adventure Explorers. Today we're going to learn a new song called Come to the Table, which is all about our theme, Coming to the Table. We're going to learn this as a repeat after me song. A repeat after me song. And a do as I do song. A do as I do song. And today I have Karis with me on the guitar. She's going to help us out. So here we go. Come to the table, yes, come to the table, come to the table, come celebrate with us all together. Come to the table, yes, come to the table, come to the table, come celebrate with us all together. 
celebrate with us. Here's the next part. Come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Come to the table. Come celebrate with us all together. Come to the table. Come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Come celebrate with us. Great job. That's the whole song. And then there's some verses that are going to go along with that that you'll learn super fast. So let's do all of that again, and then we're going to go on to the other verses. You ready, Karis? Ready. Here we go. Come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Come to the table. Come celebrate with us. Come to the table. Come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Come celebrate with us. We are all welcome. Yes, we are all welcome. Yes. We are all welcome. Come celebrate with us. We are all welcome. Yes, we are all welcome. We are all welcome. Come celebrate with us. Let's have a party. Yes, let's have a party. Let's have a party. Come celebrate with us. Let's have a party. Yes, let's have a party. Let's have a party. Come celebrate with us. We are all family. Yes, we are all family. Yes, we are all family. Come celebrate with us. We are all family. Yes, we are all family. Yes, we are all family. Come celebrate with us. Come to the table. Come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Come celebrate with us. Come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Come celebrate with us. Great job, Adventure Explorers. Adventure Explorers, today we're going to hear a story about a family party where everybody was all together and having a wonderful time, except one person didn't want to be a part of the party. Mm. But as we begin to learn more about compassion, I want you to join with me in our compassion prayer. The prayer is included in your activity kit on a coloring page that you can color this week and use as well. But I want you to join with me in praying it right now. And because when we pray, it engages all of our body uh, and all that we are. I want you to put your hand on your head to remember that prayer involves your brain and a hand over your heart like this. And then pray with me by repeating after me. Welcoming God. Welcoming God. Your warm, wide arms. Your warm, wide arms. Are always open. Are always open. Drawing us. Drawing us. Into your heart full of love. Into your heart full of love. Make our arms your own. Make our arms your own. Helping us see and welcome. Helping us see and welcome. With compassion. With compassion. All those we meet. All those we meet. Amen. Amen. Hi, Adventure Explorers. It's time for story time. Remember, having compassion means I see your hurt, I feel your hurt with you, and I'll work to ease your hurt. Today we'll be talking about a parable Jesus tells about a father who had two sons. Pay close attention to any moments of compassion and when you notice yourself feeling compassion. All right. Jesus told this parable. There once was a man who had two sons. The younger brother greedily demanded his inheritance, turned back on his family, and left them for a faraway country. He wasted all the money he took from his family. Soon, he became needy and hungry. Even though he felt ashamed, 
he decided to return home, hoping his father might welcome him back. When his father saw him, he was filled with compassion. He ran out to his son and threw his arms around him. He was so happy. He was alive. The father got a big dinner together with the best food and drink to give thanks for his son's safe return. Meanwhile, the older brother came in from the fields, tired from working hard all day. When he heard the music and dancing, he became very angry and refused to go in. His father went to the older brother to persuade him to come, but he said, I've listened to you and worked hard for you all these years, and you've never given me a party. My brother comes home after wasting all his money, and you throw him a huge party? His father said to him, Son, I love you. You know what is mine is yours, but people matter more than possessions. We thought we lost your brother from our family, but he's home. Come to the table and celebrate with us. When we listen to stories about compassion, we can see and learn so much from the feelings of the people. This is one way we learn how to feel compassion. We see, listen, and recognize what people are feeling, and this helps us to feel their joy and their hurt with them. Sometimes it requires a bit of imagination on our part because the story might not tell us directly what the people are feeling. For example, we might focus on the younger brother and father, but the older brother has something to show us too. Compassion helps us to see how every human being is important and loved by God. Hi, Adventure Explorers. It is Miss Lori and Laud and his helper Cohen. And you have received your box of activities for um, our compassion camp for five weeks. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is something we're going to use through the whole five weeks. And it's going to be a poster, the poster that looks like this. Right here. Also with this poster, there are going to be some sticky tabs that you have and there's colored pencils. You're going to go ahead and hang this up on your wall. The sticky tabs I've included with this will not hurt any paint or finish on your wall, so don't worry about that. And each week, you're going to have some things that they want you to find and color. Okay? So that's the first thing that we're going to use all five weeks. You can lay that out there. Now for week one, Week one, you're going to have a bag that looks like this. You're going to have a large plastic cup that's a vase. You're going to have some paints, some paint brushes. You're going to paint your vase. Be creative. You could also use what's left of these paints. If you want to decorate your box, go for it. And then you're going to have some tissue paper and some pipe cleaners to make flowers to go in your vase. It's a centerpiece for your table. Okay? So you have that for this week. Have fun, guys. Don't forget, take pictures of those beautiful centerpieces and flowers and share them with us. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Hi, campers. We are getting ready to head inside and we're gonna do something new. We are going to do some yoga. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Go ahead and get yourself comfy on the floor and ready to go. Hi everybody. We are going to try something new this time. We're gonna do a little bit of yoga. Yes. Even Law is going to attempt yoga. I had wanted to do goats with yoga, but wasn't able to because of the pandemic. So next best thing, it's clearly a sheep, right? Right. All right, yoga helps us connect our bodies with the world around us and our spirituality and also helps your body to feel really good, some really good stretches. 
we are going to do yoga. Now, if you have some difficulty with the poses, you can do yoga from the chair. From a chair. And yoga is as much about breathing as it is the poses. And you can do the breathing anywhere. So you're going to join us today on this new adventure. So I hope you're ready. Here we go. Sit on the floor with your legs crossed and take three deep, slow breaths together. And when you inhale, say, I see. I see. And as you exhale, say, and welcome. And welcome. I see. And welcome. I see. And welcome. Now move into child's pose. Kneel forward and stretch out. Child's pose is a position where we connect with God's creation and God's spirit within each of us as we bow our bodies and our hearts. Now move into tabletop pose. Feel the steadiness of this pose and how your hands and knees firmly plant into the ground. The table is a place of regrounding. Feel your steadiness. And remember, there is room for everyone at God's table. And now from tabletop pose, Stretch your hips up and your legs back into downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. We let ourselves be stretched and prepared to see what's to come. Now lower your hips into plank pose and then all the way further to the ground and stretch your upper body head toward the sky into upward facing dog and breathe in and breathe out. We face the sun and welcome what this day holds for us. Breathe in and breathe out. Now lower your upper body back to the ground and push your hips and legs back up into downward facing dog one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. And then bring both feet forward. You can step a foot or one after the other. And slowly roll your back up until you're standing straight and tall in mountain pose. Take some deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And reach your arms straight up into the sky. Stretch. And then draw them into prayer form right by your heart. And then you can bow to us or whoever you're doing your yoga with and say, Namaste. Namaste. This is the traditional yoga greeting that calls us to see one another the way God sees each of us. And you can say to each other, the light in me sees the light in you. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you so much for joining in our very first yoga. Luna wanted to join too. She's an awesome downward facing dog. All right, till next time guys, bye. Adventure Explorers, you've done such a great job with us tonight. We're gonna do our song, Come to the Table, one more time. So let's welcome back Karis, and here we go. Come to the table, yes, come to the table, yes, come to the table.
table, come celebrate with us. Come to the table, yes, come to the table, yes, come to the table, come celebrate with us. We are all welcome, yes, we are all welcome, yes, we are all welcome, come celebrate with us. We are all welcome, yes, we are all welcome, we are Welcome, come celebrate with us. Let's have a party. Yes, let's have a party. Let's have a party. Come celebrate with us. Let's have a party. Yes, let's have a party. Yes, let's have a party. Come celebrate with us. We are all family. Yes, we are all family. Yes, we are. Family, come celebrate with us. We are all family. Yes, we are all family. Yes, we are all family. Come celebrate with us. Come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Yes, come to the table. Come celebrate with us. Come to the table, yes, come to the table, yes, come to the table, come celebrate with us. Great job. All right, Adventure Explorers, you did such a great job today, and we're going to close like we always close with our Adventure Explorers promise. So please raise your hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Joy, promise to, promise to, live as an adventurer, live as an adventurer, explore my faith and world, explore my faith and world, and always remember, and always remember, that God loves me and you, that God loves me and you. Have a great week.